hello everyone welcome back to our channel if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified of our latest videos thank you For today's video, I will teach you how to graph, I mean make scatter plot, perform regression and correlation in IBM SPSS, and we will interpret all the results out of it. Say for example, in a statement of the problem which is to determine the correlation between media dependency to one of the variables of well-being among Judeans, which is identity, and its respective hypothesis is that media dependency has a negative effect in college students' identity. Using IBM SPSS to prove our hypothesis, first we have to open our data. This is our raw data. So let's graph it first. We will be making scatter plot graph for this. If you have any further questions about it, please see my next video since we're going to focus in scatter plot alone. Going back to IBM SPSS, go to graph menu. Choose legacy dialogues. Then scatter slash that. Then simple scatter. Then define. This will appear. You put entry in the Y with identity and our X would be media dependency. Wait for a while. Ta da! So, this is our scatter plot. We have to double click this graph and it will redirect us to chart editor. Click this, add fit line at total. The properties box will appear with its default fit method, which is linear. Leave as it is the confidence interval to none. Then click close. Then, ta da! This is our new graph. What can we get from this? Let's have the interpretation later. Let's perform first regression and correlation. Let us have the regression. Click analyze, then regression, then linear. This will appear. For the dependent entry, we'll choose identity. In the independent, we will have media dependency. Then click OK. Four tables should be generated. We have first, variables entered or removed, second, model summary, third, ANOVA, and fourth, coefficients. Please try to remember these four tables, of which will be interpreted later after performing this correlation. Are you ready? Okay. Correlation, here we go. Click Analyze again. Chose Correlate. Then click by Variate. In the variables, enter media dependency and identity. With Pearson correlation coefficients, detailed test of significance, and tick this flag significant correlation. Click OK. A table of correlation will appear just like this. Now I'm done showing to you how to use IBM SPSS as we perform scatter plot, regression, and correlation. Let's now proceed to analyzing them. This figure shows the scatter plot with the regression line between the media dependency as the independent variable and the perceived identity of Judeans as the dependent variable. This particular scatter plot and regression line indicates that as the extent among Judeans applied media in their lives increases, their sense of identity tends to increase as well. Thus, it suggests a positively sloped regression line. So we have here the table for the variables entered or removed with the dependent variable as identity 
and all the requested variables were entered none is being removed and media dependency is being entered to add that the correlation coefficient of 0 0.297 from the modal summary suggests that the media dependency and the perceived identity of Judeans have negligible correlation or linear relationship. The said table also includes the coefficient of determination, which indicates that differences in the Judeans' media dependency can explain 8.8% of differences in their sense of identity. Further, the ANOVA produces a p-value of 0 0.000, which obviously lies below all alpha values. So one could conclude that the sense of identity of Judeans changes significantly with respect to their media dependency. The regression equation helps to further describe this change. Using the regression equation of y equals 3.538 plus 0.296x obtained from the value in coefficient table, one can predict the dependent variable score for each independent variable score. Each x value substituted into the equation and the y value that results provides an ordered pair that falls in the regression line. This process produces a best guess for the perceived sense of identity felt by Judeans based upon their media dependency. Whereas, in the table titled Correlations, we can notice the diagonal of ones. These are perfect correlations between variables and themselves. The matrix is symmetrical on either side of the diagonal, meaning all correlations are given twice. The correlation coefficient for media dependency and identity is 0 0.297. For survey scale type data, this is pretty large. The number of respondents in the sample answering both items is 2,846. P-value for this correlation coefficient is 0 0.000. It's not technically zero. SPSS does not give p-values to more than three decimal places. The statistical hypothesis test for this p-value is media dependency has a negative effect on college students' identity because p-value is less than 0 0.05. We have to reject the null of how their media dependency affect their identity and conclude that there is no effect between media dependency and a sense of identity among Judeans. That's it. I hope you have learned something today. Scatter plot, regression, correlation using IBM, SPSS, and interpreting the results out of it. See you in my next video for another day of tutorial. If you have questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, Dazzling Guys.